ready here is the mortgage excel calculator that i use i found it on google let's go just look it up on google it's there so basically um this is my spreadsheet right this is my mortgage loan amount let me my cursor is hiding it so you see the mortgage details you enter the value and that's my p i payment principal and interest so um basically it won't tell you the early payments because remember when you get the amortization calculator which is what you'll get in google i what i was doing was i wasn't um remembering that the payments are in forbearance so i don't have to pay any i i don't have a scheduled payment which is zero over here i don't have an extra payment and even if i put in an extra payment it's only going to principal so basically if i if i come down here and put fifteen thousand let me just change that because then um, fifteen thousand. Okay. sorry totally you'll see come up total extra payment seventy five thousand right and i'm you're i'm looking and you could see my principal stayed the same for these months, right? Because I'm not making any payments and they're not charging any interest. So the print on my mortgage statements, it says this balance. And it says um, I'm at a over 100% interest because I'm not making any principal payments. So I, just the LTV um, calculation part is just stuck. So basically when I come down, and start chunking at my mortgage, which I plan to do in September. What does chunking mean? Chunking is when you take the personal line of credit and say my line of credit is $15,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a principal only payment to my mortgage company, which is Wells Fargo. So I'm gonna take $15,000 from my line of credit and put it on my Wells Fargo mortgage. That's when you do that, that reduces the amount of time you pay. And that reduces, see now I'm down to 256 payments. That reduces the amount of time you pay the mortgage. And then that also gets you to the desired, that also builds equity in your property faster so you could access so when i chunk now the fifteen thousand is what i have on my personal line of credit so when i take pull out the whole fifteen thousand and chunk it to the mortgage i maxed out the line of credit now i wouldn't advise everybody to do that the way you know that you could handle maxing out your line of credit is based on your cash flow how much money do you make per month that could drastically reduce this in a fast time because if you keep maxing out your cards they're going to want to close your line of credit so between my husband and i we make um ten thousand dollars a month my husband and i so in in two months i would be able to zero out my line of credit actually in three paychecks because remember i use the personal line of credit to pay off one of my cars then i'm gonna pay off the other car then my house is in forbearance so now my expenses got reduced i don't have anything to pay for now more than my light my phone bill and my um my phone bill my light bill my gas bill and food because i don't even buy gas and stuff because i run doordash and let that little money pay for my other miscellaneous crap that i want so basically my only bills is whatever expense as it pertains to my daughter daycare light so my expense now is down to 
around a thousand dollars a month um, from five thousand. So you might. So when this is maxed out, all our income that we get in the two week period, every two weeks we get paid. I'm gonna take all that money, and I'm gonna put the whole five thousand on the line of credit. Now, what's that gonna do? That's gonna bring up the balance back to 10,000. Now I'm just gonna owe them 10,000. You might add, where am I gonna get money to survive for the month? Well, I have a credit card for that. And credit cards are accepted everywhere. So I'll just use my credit card, pay for my expenses. When the, when the credit card bill comes, I pay for it from the line of credit, all of it. So my, my, I, I never pay interest and I always get cash back. Right now my cash back is at $335 for the year already. I never pay interest, always get cash back because I, I just take the money from my line of credit, pay off the credit card in full every month, statement balance, not pay off, just pay the statement balance in full every month and you just rinse and repeat that process now with this process you have to be very dedicated and disciplined you can't go and go buy louis vuitton shoes gucci bags and and floss them because if you don't do this properly you will and i repeat you will be in big trouble big trouble you have to be completely disciplined in order to do this tragedy and do it right. So basically, if all goes well, my health is still sustained and God still gives me the opportunity to make money in my 95 that I have right now. All being well, I'll be at 76.45% equity in my house. And now remember, I am doing some home improvements. I'm adding an AC, that's a big thing. So when an appraiser walks through my house, they're gonna see that my house have AC. They're gonna tack some money on. So basically my equity is gonna go up. Now, as soon as I hit 76%, as soon as I hit under 80%, I'm calling, my, I'm calling Wells Fargo, and I'm gonna tell them to cancel the PMI on my house, which is $255 a month. Now, I might not even call Wells Fargo and tell them to cancel the PMI, because I plan to turn the house over into a first position HELOC anyway, which will cancel the PMI. So that is the plan that I have. Now, this is gonna get me to that 25% that I need to be an investor, right? Because now I'm gonna have all that equity in my house and I'm just gonna pull it out and buy that investment property, make sure I do my homework, get some good tenants in there. And those tenants will be paying the mortgage, paying it down. So I just need to get my foot off the ground. And as I said, I'm just going to be spending a ton more time in researching and I'm just, I'm calling myself an investor now, Seven, 700 hours a year. I got it. I'm an investor starting this year. So <laughs> that is what I'm going to do. And I think Navy Federal is like the best place to do this. Mm -hmm. So the thing, the thing um, with Navy Federal is you could get the, you could right now, Navy Federal's um, home equity lines are suspended. So I don't know when they'll open that back up. But I wasn't trying to, I'm not going with them because they don't offer first position, right? And the money that they're, they're going to give me is not going to be enough to, I could put it in the first position, but the money that they're gonna give me is not gonna be 200 plus thousand, you know? So I have another credit union that I'm gonna use. Um, this credit union, 
Connex Credit Union here in Connecticut, um, they lend up to 100% LTV for a higher interest rate. But hey, if we have Velocity Banking on our sides, interest rates don't matter. They matter. You don't want a 12%, 19% interest rates. But that, when I told them I was going to do it, but I didn't realize that um, for the forbearance, I would have been stopped. When they told me my interest rate, they told me my interest rate on the second position, and I could have gotten around 17000 at the time, would be only 7.99%. Now, that's way cheaper than this PLOC that I'm paying 12.25% on, you know? So um, definitely this velocity banking concept um, is very powerful. I learned about this concept on YouTube and out of forbearance, I have to wait three months based on the guidelines. So when I'm out of forbearance, I'm going to be out of forbearance in April. So I have to start resuming to make my payments in April. So when I'm out, all this money that um, I forbearance given me, which is um, 1480.28 times 12, because I'm taking it for the whole 12 months, 12 months a year. Uh, as long as Wells Fargo say, provide me information. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that's gonna be seventeen thousand seven hundred and sixty-three dollars and thirty-six cents in forbearance, principal, and interest. That does not include the um, taxes and insurance. But all of that, the mortgage companies are gonna be working that out, and they're gonna add that to the back of the loan so i don't but when when i'm done when i'm done with this forbearance i have to add this in because that's when i'm gonna be out at that time i'm gonna be set up for success anyway because when when that comes one two three so by um one two three so by june of next year i'm just gonna go over to connex credit union I'm not even gonna wait for the three months, seriously. I'm just gonna apply. And if they see the forbearance um, note on my credit report, they're just gonna want a letter from Wells Fargo saying that I am out of forbearance. And that's it. So with that, that's where I plan now to get my money from the equity in the house. I was gonna wait until I pay off the house completely. But no, because after here, after I get out of forbearance in the 19th payment of the mortgage, or probably sooner, depends on what Connex Credit Union wants, um, definitely gonna roll the mortgage over into a first position, and then that's a different calculator at that point. So I would recommend using this calculator. This, um, I think this calculator is like a he. they have a HELOC here, a HELOC calculator. So um, you have to put all these in. So basically when I'm going in and I just spoke to a mortgage uh, loan officer today and they said a 720 credit score is no different from an 820. Once you have a 720, you're not getting any better terms. So 720 is the best. And then after that, you're just, it's just, the terms aren't gonna be better for you. Hey, I have a question. Go ahead. So on the Connex Credit Union, mm -hmm. uh, is that are you when you said 100% LTV? Is that 100% LTV? Is that on a um, a primary residence or a um, a rental property? Any residence. Any, so any primary or rental or I mean or investor. How do they want to have the primary primary or rental? It's 100% LTV. 
they just charge you a slightly higher interest. But with the strategy that um, I'm planning to employ here, the slightly 1.5 or 2% is, is peanuts compared to what I'm yes. money that I'll be saving and what I'm trying to do. So Right, right, right. Right. That's why I wanted to figure out because I've been looking for, you know, there are a lot of people that want you to have 70, 75%, some 80. But I've never heard of 100% on a rental property, what they consider a rental property versus your uh, own primary residence. So if that credit union is doing 100% LTV on a rental or second home, then that is definitely good information for me. But, but, so and Navy Federal does 95, so they're both together. They're both good because Navy Federal has a third, a 40-year period, a 20-year draw. And a that's their draw? Period. Okay, okay. So but, they have, they, they have, they have a, a 10-year draw and a 20-year repayment. So my thing is, because I don't want to get confused, because here's, here's my bottom line here. I was going to grab the money and pay off my student loans, which is like 65000 I was just right. paid off and then right. pay, pay it back down. So that's why I want it to go into a first position, because I don't want it to seem like it's maxed out, because... When I get when it gets rolled over into a first position, it's gonna now become my checking account. So my, my direct deposits are gonna go directly to it. Absolutely. Every every and that's my, and that was my that was my issue I, or issue concern because uh, I used to have two positions on my home, the one I do own or rent out currently now, uh, but I pay, the second position has has been paid off, so there's only one position on it now. The issue I was running into is finding a credit union that would do uh, a certain percentage on the LTV. Yeah. So it's, it's, but you may get appraised that, and then what the lender get their appraised that may be two different appraisals. You see what I'm saying? I'm, so that, I, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not appraising it. I'm waiting on the lender. And right. Right. So that's what I'm saying. When the yeah. lender sends people out to do it for the ELOP, so it's you may better. have. You may. Yeah, yeah, it's better, yes. But I think I was running into the issue was that, you know, I thought, well, I had it at one price, and they were like, oh, no, it's at this price. So it was kind of missing the required LTV percentage to actually get the HELOC on it. But yeah. since then, now things have changed, so I should be good to go now. I don't even care about what the Internet says about my 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 equity. I Because the Internet says my house is... 145 and they're missing that the fact that i have a two-car garage so i can't trust the internet i need right. a human absolutely i need a human so absolutely why did i do that so yeah because, well since navy said they only go up to two plex right only oh two, yeah uh, two, two plex. plex so connor connect or connor what's the name of it Con connect connect they they go up to fourplex. Uh, I I I have to ask. I didn't. I don't know. Let me ask you this: Are are they currently? And I and I will look them up. Uh, but do you know if they only right now just lending or doing that in state? Will they go out of state? No, they 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 they're lending. They're lending right now. So they'll go across. They're nationwide. They'll do it nationwide. I. That's a question that you would call them. And okay. Ask. No problem. No and problem. Um, membership, membership. I got you in membership. If you want membership, because you have to be a member. Okay. But I, I'm pretty I, sure. We can do that. Yeah. So yeah, that that's the strategy. That's what I'm gonna do, and um, I'll take it from there.